इन फैक्ट द होली मदर्स डेली प्रोग्राम ऑफ लाइफ एट दक्षिणेश्वर वॉज वन ऑफ अनिंग सर्विस एंड आर्डेंट प्रैक्टिस ऑफ डिवोशन शी वुड एज ऑलरेडी स्टेटेड गेट अप बिटवीन थ्री एंड फोर एम एंड आफ्टर बाथिंग इन द गेंजिस स्पेंड द मॉर्निंग आवर्स इन मेडिटेशन एंड वर्शिप for the master used to insist on meditation both in the morning and evening shri ramakrishna was always a hard task master in matters spiritual if on any day the holy mother and lakshmi didi who lived with her at the nahabat failed to get up at the usual time he would as he passed that way in the early morning pour water into their bed from his water jug so that they might get up and begin meditation then she would attend to cooking after that if there were no devotees near the master she would go to him and massage his body with oil while the master was engaged in his bath she would prepare bitter rolls then she would take the master's food to him and personally serve it and stand by his side as he partook of it as long as his mother was alive the master would go to the nahabat and have his food with her after her passing away his food used to be served in his room for she had to engage him in some light conversation so that his meal might not be disturbed by the sudden onset of samadhi or any such higher mood besides as in feeding a little child she often had to have recourse to various tricks in feeding the master for the sight of a large quantity of food on the plate would make him nervous and he would refuse to take it fearing it would upset his stomach so she would hide the real quantity of rice by pressing it down into a small heap in the same way she would take from the milkman more than the usual half a seer of milk allotted to the master and boil it down into the usual quantity there is an interesting description she herself gave to a disciple about how she fed the master with milk she said when the master was ill dr ganga prasad sen of kumartuli was consulted the physician prescribed some medicine and forbade water the master began to ask one and all well can i live without water he asked this question to everyone even of a 5 year old child all replied yes sir you can can i he asked me you can i replied he then said you are to wipe the water from even washed pomegranate cells see if you can do it at that i said to him well everything will be done by the grace of mother kali we shall try our utmost the master made up his mind at last he stopped drinking water and took the medicine every day i used to give him 3 to 4 cs of milk to drink later on even 5 to 6 cs the man who milked the temple cows used to give me milk in large quantities he would say to me if i give all this milk to the temple the priest will take it home after worship and give it away to anyone and everyone but if i leave the milk here the master will have it he used to give me up to 5 or 6 cs of milk he was a good man full of devotion I used to give him sweets I would boil it down to a seer and a half the master would ask me 
how much milk is there i would say a seer or a seer and a quarter he would remark perhaps more i see such a thick layer one day bolap a woman disciple was there he asked her how much milk is there and she told the truth ah so much milk he exclaimed that is why i get indigestion call her call her i came in and he told me of what bolap had said about the milk i pacified him telling oh bolap does not know the measurement how can she know how much the pot contains another day he asked bolap about the milk and she said in reply one full bowl from here and another from the kali temple at this the master got nervous again he sent for me and began to ask about the exact measurement of the bowl as to how many paus and chataks it contained i replied i do not know about the paus and chataks you will drink milk why all these inquiries about measurement who knows about all these calculations he was not satisfied he said can i digest all this milk i shall get indigestion really that day he did get indigestion he did not take anything that night except a little sago water golap said to me afterwards well mother you should have told me about it before how could i know his whole evening meal is spoiled in reply i said to her there is no harm in telling so about food thus i coax him to eat in this way he picked up his health and was almost cured of his illness by adopting such methods she used to feed the master well and under her loving care his health invariably improved when such improvement became marked he used to tell her just see how i am growing fatter by taking the food cooked by you